Guys, I'm going to do a quick, or try to do a quick recording on this because I put it out there the other day and I appreciate all that you guys had to say, but I failed to tell you why, the original reason why I took it out. The original reason is I have a problem with the van that's been going on with the van since the day I bought it about three years ago. Bought it off the original owner couple weeks in five six seven weeks again I don't pay attention to time I go out to start it wouldn't start battery was dead oh, so I pull out the cables and I jump start it and start it up and it ran great had no problems with it after that and then uh, next thing I know a few weeks later a few months later whenever it was bingo it acted up again so I'm thinking now that okay it's an 04 I bought it off the original owner. It could be just the original battery for all I know. I looked on the battery. I seen no markings that when it was put in. So I said, well, you know what? Let me just put another battery in it. So I put another battery in it. Everything was fine. Two, three, four weeks, five weeks, month, two months. Who real? I don't even pay attention to time. Bingo, it acts up again. I said, now what the hell is that? So I check all my connections and I check everything and I pull the charger out again and I boost it and uh, starts up and everything is fine again and next thing you know couldn't tell you when it could be weeks or months you don't know when it's gonna happen bingo batteries dead again so what the hell can this be so I pulled the bottom of the dash off and uh, I had my neighbor come over and when I took the battery cable off the battery and touched it back and forth, I'd be getting a clunk, 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 like a relay kicking in. And then I also had a 2.5 amp draw when I put the amp meter on it. Well, 2.5 amps is a lot of draw. You know, I mean, we're talking more than just a clock, you know, uh, or the radio. I mean, we're, we're talking a heavy-duty draw here. So with that, I says, okay. We can't find out what the hell's clunking. So maybe it's the starter. Maybe the solenoid on the starter's locking up somehow. I would think that would be more than a 2.5 amp draw. So yeah, who knows? So I decided to put a new starter on it. Now this is like a year in now, okay? And I've been dealing with this like two or three weeks, two or three months, five months, six months, you never know. I mean, it's not one of those, it goes so long sometimes you forget about it. Put a new starter in, kept the old one, I still have it up here, not knowing if that was the original starter or not, and uh, next thing you know, here we go, bingo, don't start. What the hell? So then I replaced every relay in the van, every relay under the hood, every relay under the dash, any relay actually there was a relay in one of the doors I replaced that relay I replaced everything so uh, we'll see what happens again you forget about it because it goes so long you don't think well I got it I didn't get it you know uh, bingo there it goes battery's dead again <sighs> what the hell is this so now you start trying to think of things that it could be things that you wouldn't even think it would normally be or could be you know you start thinking the impossibles but I thought, well maybe the alternator's got a problem with one of the diodes maybe there's something inside the alternator that shorts out every now and then maybe it's draining oh it's this could be that you know you never know but you know what put a new alternator on it because again it's an 04 is it gonna hurt no ah, so I put a new alternator on it six seven months bingo here we go again <laughs> <laughs> well it started going to a point to where it was okay so I started putting all my radios and things in there and when I put the radios in I put in spare batteries all right because I'm always running the radios and I don't want to keep the truck running and you know when you're doing things you just don't want to have the truck running if you don't need to so I hooked up with a couple batteries went under the up under the back where the spare tire would normally go uh, in a metal battery box and another one behind the driver's seat and a metal battery box which is vented and it's got the drip on it so I don't have to worry about it and I have it all hooked up 
to a uh, 300 amp uh, breaker and a solar panel on the roof that you can't see. It's a little 50 amp or 50 watt solar panel uh, that keeps those things charged up through its charger regulator. Um, and you don't even know it's up there. But meanwhile, that's all for the radios. But I started acting up again. Well, then I noticed, wait a minute, when I turned the key off, I noticed the gauges stayed engaged. So I got, I'm checking time here. I got to do this so I can see it. Um, the gauges stayed engaged. So I shook the key, pulled it in and out, and the gauges dropped like they're supposed to. Okay, maybe it's an ignition. So I got a new ignition, which is sitting in the van now for about six months. I haven't put it in yet. The guy across the street, he's a mechanic. He's good, but he doesn't like with dealing with the new electronics. He said if it was an old ignition, he'd do it. But the new ones are different. He's kind of afraid of them. And if you don't want to do it, don't do it. I understand. Which means I got to get my butt up under there, which would be a pain in the ass with the bad back and 15 pounds overweight. You know, uh, you know, it takes a little tough because, you know, we just can't get in between the seat and the steering wheel sometimes to get all the housing off. So at that point, uh, I have the ignition, but I never put it in. So getting to this and trying to keep this short. I went out the other day. I went to unlock the doors. I hear ka-chunk. They all supposedly unlocked. I go to the driver's door. I go to open it. went open. It was locked. Driver's door. So, oh. So I said, well, I'm hearing ka-chunk. Let me chunk them closed again and ka-chunk them unlock again. I lock, unlock. I go around, check all the other doors. All the other doors are unlocked except for the driver's door. Huh. Well, I get the key out and I open up the door. Now I have that unit right there. Hold on a minute. See that unit right there? I have one of those in the van hooked up to a constant hot. Now it doesn't draw a whole hell of a lot, believe it or not. It's like milliamps. I mean, I can leave that on on a normal vehicle for days and it wouldn't even think of bothering the battery. And that wasn't in there at the time. But meanwhile, I look at that and that's 10 and a half amps, of volts rather. I'm saying, okay, well that's why nothing wants to work right. The truck's not gonna start. So I hit the little button on my breaker and kicked in the rear batteries started it up turned it off turned the breakers off and uh, at that point everything was fine and i'm thinking well why am i having a problem with this now like you guys said this is a simple piece it really is again i never had this open so i really don't know what's in it but i'm assuming it's probably just a solenoid of some sort and like you guys say you know you hook up power to it power reverse the power it goes up, reverse it, it comes down. So that would work off the switch. But I also noticed that this thing kept hanging up. So I said, we don't want, it keeps hanging up anyway. So I want to get it out of there and get a new one. Because it's 14 years old. I'm not going to put it back in. So at that point, that's where we're at with this. So I was thinking maybe this was the problem. If it gets hung up somehow, is this interacting with the switch? You know, when this goes up all the way, does it see the power telling the switch okay or does it not? As a rule, I would say no. You know, you hit the button on the switch, the button does the work. There's no power on this other than that, so I would think. I checked every switch on all the doors. I checked the relays again. I checked the wiring again. I checked everything. Okay? This thing still hangs up halfway. But meanwhile, it's not in the door switch or door relays or anything like that. So therefore, it probably isn't this either. Again, not being in it, I have no idea how this communicates with the, with the truck. But again, switch up, usually one way, put the switch down. It reverses the power, puts it back down. Like you guys said, plain and simple. This is probably has no voltage on it unless you hit the switch. So, that's where we're at. I even tried it going off of here as a ground, and here as a ground. Yeah, it doesn't happen. So, that's probably not the problem. But again, I'm biting the straws here now. You know, I'm saying, what the hell is it? You know, I mean, it's, you know, even though you don't, you, you know it may not be, you're still thinking it could be. <laughs> yeah. But I'm going to put a new one in anyway, because like I said, it's 14 years old. So, what, I got it all apart. It's stupid not to put a new one in there for 20 bucks. So, the new one comes in Friday. 
I'll put it in. And by the way, today is Tuesday. So that's where I'm at with this, and that's where I was, so that's what I'm trying to figure out. For some reason, the van just every now and then kills the battery. Now, what's funny about it, though, I got that switch to switch the other batteries on. I can go out, the battery can be down at 7.5 volts. It's set there for two or three days with apparently this 2.5 amp draw, which isn't always there. But meanwhile, I'll turn on the switch, start it up, turn off the switch. When I turn on the switch, I'm connecting the other batteries. Turn off the switch, turn off the vehicle. So from the time that I turned on the switch, turned, started up the vehicle, turned off the switch, turned off the vehicle, maybe 30 seconds, 35, 40 seconds, the vehicle is now back off, it'll start right up again. It seems like you got to kick something to, to connect the battery. You follow me? Here it is at 7.5 volts. I turn the switch on, start the truck, turn the switch off, turn the truck off. That shows 12.5 volts when it was showing 7 volts prior. 30, 40 seconds, if that. You know, so what the hell is it? You know, and then sometimes, like I say, it won't do that for forever. You know, and then and, uh, it really puzzles me. It does it at random. No particular weather conditions, you know, or times, or, or, or something's on, something's off, because I mean, I've tried everything, and it battery still goes dead occasionally. So that was the story behind this, because it was hanging up somewhat. I decided I wanted to change it out anyway. However, I didn't know if this communicates with that, which it shouldn't, to be honest with you. Um, you guys had mentioned that, because again, it's a relay on, off, on, off. This sees power, off. It stays wherever it is. If I turn put the power on it, this goes up. Take the power off, she stays up. Doesn't fall back down. All right. Pull it down, it comes off. It would have to do that. And off the switch. It's not that, okay, when it shuts down, it shuts the switch off. Because then if that's the case, when this is halfway up, it may keep that switch in a non-position. But see, the switch is a manual switch. It's not automatic. So, anyway, who knows? I checked all the other doors. I checked all the other switches. I checked the switch in the door, checked all the wiring, checked all the relays, and I still have this problem. So my next step is I have to get underneath the dash and try to get that housing off the ignition so I can get in there and fix that. So I may try that this weekend or maybe even Friday when I'm putting this in. If I do, I'll take you out there and show it to you. But meanwhile, I'm trying to keep this short because every time I go here, I go 18, 20, 25 minutes, and I'm sorry, guys. Catch you later.